greatest African inventor is Richard Spikes. He invented the automatic gear shift in 1932. So as we continue to celebrate African History Month here on The Now Morning Show and bring you highlights and bring you information and facts of our history as Africans as we continue to celebrate everything here on The Now Morning Show, especially African History Month in the month of November. Well, actually what we're celebrating today as well is Universal Children's Day. Yes, sir. And we're going to continue to ventilate that topic a little bit. And to do that, we have on the line Bertrand Moses, who's the coordinator of child development at the office of the Prime Minister, as well as Priyanka Lalo, who's a child rights ambassador and UNICEF youth advocate. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Not a problem. Bertrand, I want to start with you. What is the office of the Prime Minister doing for World Children's Day today? All right. Well, for World Children's Day, we are really pleased, first of all, to announce that Priyanka Lala, our guest this morning, has been named the first UNICEF youth advocate from the Eastern Caribbean. That's the 12 countries, and that's a huge accomplishment for us. Congratulations, Priyanka. Congratulations to you, Priyanka, on behalf of all of us. The nation is so <laughs> proud of you. And that means that she will, she will tell you more about her role. So that's one part of it. The other part is that we'd like to also announce that for World Children's Day, we are sharing with the nation amazing opportunities. The first opportunity is for our nation to take part in a Euro report poll, which we'll share more about later. They also have the opportunity to get a mental health workbook to help them through the challenges of COVID-19. And finally, they have the chance to win a laptop. I'm so excited to share this, but I want to hand over to Priyanka so you can learn more about her. Well, yes, Priyanka, first of all, congratulations. And tell me, what does it mean? What does it mean to be a UNICEF youth advocate? Thank you very much. Well, I'm so honored to have this amazing opportunity. And I believe that it's just um, a step up from where I was before. And I want to continue to use my platform to share the same awareness that I have always. And I want to continue to try my best to inspire youth and young people in Trinidad and Tobago. So even though I may be on a higher level, I still want to continue to share the same awareness that I always have. Okay, fantastic. Well, Bertrand, tell me about the U-Report. What is it and why is it so important? Certainly. So U-Report is a, a platform that was developed by UNICEF. It has over 11 million users in the world in over 70 plus countries. Okay. And Trinidad and Tobago has been fortunate to be a part of it for the last two years. Mm -hmm. What it allows for is to engage our young people in issues that affect them. So for example, it would allow us when we develop our policies. So for, for example, we have the first uh, national child policy in Trinidad and Tobago and the first national child policy in the Eastern Caribbean out of 12 countries. And so your report allows us to engage youth to get their views so when we make decisions we can integrate that and so your report allows children to message through facebook messenger that's through of course at your report t and a n d t all right on facebook messenger and they can message there on their views if they message join that's how they'll be a part of the amazing surprises and that's how priyanka can also use that to engage all the 1. million youth throughout the region and the over 300,000 youth in Trinidad and Tobago to be a part of Trinidad and Tobago's views and voices. Well, that's fantastic. Priyanka, tell me about some of the roles and functions of the UNICEF Youth Advocate. Well, some of the roles and functions would be to bring awareness to the rights and responsibilities of children, mm -hmm. especially in the Caribbean, which is my role, and also to bring awareness to what they can do as children to reinforce their opportunities and really seize their opportunities but it's really important that we ensure that children know their rights and responsibilities foremost because that is incredibly important and that's what shapes their foundation and their future mm -hmm. and make sure that they live safe, educated, happy and healthy lives. How do we get children to know more about their rights? I want children to know basically what their rights are and what their responsibilities are yeah. and what they need as children to live their lives and their basic necessities and their basic rights and what they um, what they can have as children because a lot of children don't know their rights and that's something very important that we need to address. Uh, Bertrand, you think it's, it's important for, I mean, yes, it's important for the children to know their rights, of course, right? Um, I'm wondering if, uh, what impact do we, how do we impact the parents to make sure that they also understand that their children have rights? That's excellent. And of course, this is why we have the national child policy. It allows us to really have a framework to allow parents to get the tools they need, support they need, the training they need, capacity building with workers to ensure that they are also aware. And that brings me right into the U Report uh, program. No, this is powerful because we want to give away a laptop to a lucky child mm -hmm. and we want to give away, of course, of course, our mental health workbook. So it's powerful. If children go on to at U Report T. A-N-D-T, you report 
T and T on Facebook Messenger, if they send join to Facebook Messenger, they will receive a response. It's automated, it is confidential, and they will be able to participate in a poll. Fantastic. Very, very short, four short questions about their mental health and wellness. And at the end of completing that, they will receive a mental health workbook that parents can do with children. They can download it. It's free. It's amazing. It has games, apps, tips, um, exercises, videos attached to it. It's nice. amazing for children. Fantastic. And they can do with that. Well, yeah. we want to encourage everybody to head across to Facebook and, of course, send the, send the messages to you, TNT. You report TNT. Um, Bertrand and Moses, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Coordinator of the Child Development at the Office of the Prime Minister, as well as Priyanka Lala, congratulations again on becoming a UNICEF Child Ambassador.